What's up you guys, Modestly Clee here. Welcome back to my channel if you are an old subscriber and welcome if you're new. Today we have the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder review and we have the concealer review. Y'all know the names already. If not, then you know the title of the video will have the name of them. But right now, I don't really know the name of them. I just know it's Pro Filter something. So you know what you're here for. If you want to see a review on those two products, then make sure that you keep on watching. I'm going to take this Fenty Beauty foundation, which I'm running out of, in the shade 420, and I'm going to apply that all over my face. So as you can see, I've been through a lot with this foundation. So I'm just going to apply it like that and go in and blend it out with my Makeup Forever 154 brush. Maybe next time I buy some more foundation, I will buy 410. Um, and that may be very soon because I definitely need it. So today I do have the concealer in the shade 410 as well as the powder in the shade banana. So here's what the packaging looked like. Standard Fenty Beauty packaging, you know, the spray paint and all that different type of graffiti going on, which I do really think that's really good for branding. Um, it's very different. The claims of the concealer is instant photo soft coverage for all, long wear light as air, increase proof. So we're gonna see if that's what it does today. This is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. I really do love the packaging. It is the same as the foundation. So I really do like the packaging as far as the uh, banana powder. They also have this little piece that goes in the inside, I'm guessing, but it didn't come in the inside of here. It came packaged in a box. I really do love her branding and her packaging because I'm real big on like packaging and branding and you know when when I see something different it makes me feel like you know I you've worked hard on it and that's the type of things that I appreciate from brand in general if not anything you will want to buy it because of the way it looks just going in uh we're gonna use the concealer right now I have the shade 410 as I said before and we're gonna see what it looks like Okay, so this is a neutral shade. Uh, the wand is absolutely amazing. It's made a specific way, which is like hard to explain. So it'll be better if I let you guys see it. The wand is very comfortable. Like the application is a very comfortable application. It's not nothing too uncomfortable, I guess I could say. Um, it goes on very smooth. I really do like this applicator. It, it bends. It's different from a lot of other applicators, but just in the slightest way. You just got to give it to people. I'm not a, like, diehard Rihanna fan like Rihanna Navy. I'm not. But with this cosmetic line, she has came through. And I cannot deny that. Like, I can't sit and act like... She's not doing her thing with the cosmetics. It's definitely creamy. It's really nice. I like this. Okay, so let's blend it out with a sponge on this side. And again, this is supposed to be crease proof. So we're going to see about all of that. And I do have the banana powder, which is going to lighten up this under eye area as well. Because we do want, you know, some brightness. It's not as bright as I would usually go. The banana powder is going to take care of all of that. A powder that I've really been loving lately, not to be moving on and swaying from, you know, the products at hand, but a powder that I've really been loving is the Laura Mercier. So I want to see if, if this powder is going to either compare to it or, you know, just really go above and beyond my expectations for it. Now, I haven't saw many reviews. I did see Jackie Ina, of course, just to see, like, as far as, like, shade referencing. Because me and her have 
similar um, complexion. So I use her as a reference. I also use Shayla. Shayla is really like the person who I, I use for a reference because she literally uses the same shades as me and, and certain foundations. So I think her complexion is more similar to mine's over Jackie's. So this is looking really flawless, you guys. So far, I don't see any crease. And I'm just going over this area with the brush because I have been finding that lately brushes have been giving me that really like no crease effect over a sponge because the sponge I feel like is too big. So next we have the banana powder. This is beautiful. This really reminds me of like powder room. You know how back in the day where they would have the powder room and everything and the ladies would go inside of the powder room and all of this other different type of stuff. That, this is really like powder room, you know, approved. Like if you got a powder room, this is, this is it, you know, like. That's what it reminds me of. The only thing about this is that it doesn't have a sponge. We'll be going in with a sponge, but it won't be a Fenty Beauty sponge. So I guess that probably comes separately. I'm not sure. But I'm just pouring this inside of this little plastic container, which is really, uh, if this is what this is for, this is really, really convenient for me. Because I be pouring my powders everywhere. I'm telling you, I be pouring them everywhere, y'all. Everywhere. So, what I did see in Jackie Ina's video, she did mention that the powder can make you a little matte. Like, it's a really matte, matte powder. I'm kind of normal to dry skin, girl. So, I want to make sure that I'm not, like, overly putting anything. Um, but I do want to set it because I do sometimes get a little oily, you know. So, let's go. Let's go. Okay, that's like it's sinking into the skin very nicely. Uh, I'm not seeing any anything crazy going on. So um, for right now, I'm really, really liking it. What I can say about this banana powder, it's not really giving me banana vibes on the skin. Uh, but as far as the color, it's definitely banana. So I'm seeing more of a like, it's giving me like that Laura Mercier vibe. If that, like, it really is. So let's go ahead and do down the, down the nose and the forehead. My nose really do get oily, so I do want to make sure I'm getting that. I like to apply my powders with a damp sponge. I find that that looks a lot better. Uh, this is really looking really nice, you guys. It's like it melted into my skin. I really like that. I appreciate that about a powder. Like, melt into my skin. Yes, girl. This is, is looking really good so far. And so I'm just going to go in with the Laura Mercier first. Laura Mercier. I don't know why. I just... Some days I'm, I'm there. Other days I'm not. Like, I don't know. And I'm going to do this on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna apply that. And then over top of that, I'm gonna go in with the Micro Smooth Powder to make sure that I am giving my face some color, like adding that color back. So I do have issues with once I apply powder, I'm always, my nose always wanna start running. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's allergic reaction, but yes. That always happens to me. So taking my e.l.f. brush, I'm going to use this to apply to a uh, to apply the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder, and I'm going to apply that in all the areas where I didn't apply the banana powder with Fenty Beauty. I do have the Fenty Beauty lip. Gloss Balm, so I'm going to use that. So going in with my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, I'm going to use that. I really do love this. Like, this is my second one. I love this stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera, and I'll be back with my final thoughts on these products. So I do really love both products. I do love the concealer. I love the applicator as well. 
it's made like it's like really like a it's weird because you know she has like the triangular vibes and all of that going on the octagons and all of that and the uh the tip of the concealer applicator is like it goes from like triangular and then it comes out a little bit like that was something that i noticed and the wand is really like I don't want to say flexible, but it, it definitely is comforting, uh, comforting the way that it applies. I don't know if it's really like flexible though. It's not like flexible to the point where it's like all over the place, but it's definitely like going to give you your application that you're looking for. So I did appreciate that about the applicator. And like I said, the powder is definitely a go for me. I do want to pick up my shade, uh, my all over shade, which would be nutmeg, if I'm not mistaken. So that's definitely something that I do want to look into. Yeah, that's pretty much my review on both products. I really do like them. Shout out to Rihanna. She was out here doing her thing uh, last year launched the cosmetic line and it was successful and everything after it seems to me would just be a go and a yes so if you are interested definitely go pick it up definitely go pick up the foundation as well like all of the products are really good and you would appreciate it like for it to be would, would you consider this high end i don't know i was thinking Rihanna products are high end but is it? I don't really know. Y'all probably know more than I do about that. But it's good. It's definitely comparable to a lot of high-end products. So I would say go ahead and go get it, girl. If you like me, if you like my channel, go ahead and hit the like button. I would definitely appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the bell and turn on your post notifications so you will not miss a video from me. I am Modestly Quee and I would like to thank you guys for watching. And... I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.